This picture in one of my furniture books interested me. This coloration, this ornamentation, painted chest. I had never tried this type of decoration on my furniture and wanted to do it, but not on this particular piece. So I found another piece. This is in the Williamsburg collection, made originally in Tidewater, Virginia in 1790, I believe, or 16, I'm sorry, it was earlier, another hundred years earlier, 1690. Had uh, one drawer and a couple drawers. So this is a low cupboard. I imported that picture into SketchUp and and then did the photo match capability to to capture the sizes of these rails and posts and various components of the piece. And here you can see a rough skeleton of the capture of sizes of components and I took that information then and created the full detailed model in SketchUp of the low cupboard and has the drawer in the top and then the two panel doors in the front. I want to use this as an entertainment center with a flat screen TV holding it. I'll hide the top so you can see some of the internals of this cupboard a long drawer, single long drawer with a center support, as you can see, uh, dovetailed construction. I'll hide that drawer and hide one of these doors. There's a key lock on this door and behind it are the bottom and uh, one shelf. The electronics will fit in here nicely uh, and, and fit the need. Here's an exploded view of that construction. I guess you would call it post and panel construction. So there are uh, beveled solid panels that are installed between the posts and then rails with mortise and tenon joints and grooves to handle the panels and dovetailed rails in the top of the posts. Very typical old style construction. Now I wanted to capture these painted decorations, geometric shapes, stylized vines, etc at a target and I wanted to capture these colors so in SketchUp over the top of the photo from the book I used just the simple tools circle tools in this case let me turn on x-ray so I can see some of the colors and the shapes back there and then just to uh, need to add some circles here to capture these leaflet like shapes. Uh, I'm just using the standard 24 sides per per the uh, for circle. Well, I didn't, that's not the right place to place that last circle. Let me undo that last step there and start from here. Okay, now I can delete all this outside data. with the eraser tool, just holding down the 
And now it's a little bit difficult to capture these colors, but I tried and I set a, I selected a set of colors from the SketchUp uh, dialogue here, the materials dialogue. And here you can see I'm using this reddish color and then a dark brown color uh, and then three blacks. Let me shut off x-ray here. Let me see those colors a little bit better and then there's a tan that colors these leaflets. And those are the colors I selected and I found paints, acrylic paints to to match extremely closely to the what I selected in SketchUp. So here are the targets and the other colors that I picked um, on the other geometric shapes. So I made groups of these various shapes and resized them and pasted them on the low cupboard that I that I want to use this ornamentation on. So that's what it looked like with the base color and the colors in the various shapes. I made full-size templates of these geometric shapes. Here's the target. These, this strip goes on the posts, front face of the posts. Made full-size templates on thick car, uh, uh, poster board and then cut out so that I could use a pencil to to trace around these shapes on the actual piece in the shop. So this is my selection of templates that I used to mark it up and then I used acrylic paints that dried quickly. I found matches at the local paint store and hand painted with uh, artist brushes on the on the surface. The, the, here's the piece in the shop. It's Monterey Pine and I'm almost uh, done with the, with the painting.